place that train alone have to factor in a whole bunch of different stuff. They've got to have what is their motivation, right? What is their motivation, and then how are they going to hold themselves accountable from a technical side if they're a thrower, technical side if they're a weightlifter or a powerlifter or anything like that. So finding what is the motivation, how are you going to hold yourselves accountable from a technique perspective, and how are you going to hold yourself accountable from an intensity perspective. And those things can be, they can be easy if you manage it properly and you set it up ahead of time and you factor in this, the idea that you will be by yourself. It's all internal motivation that is going to be fueling your fire and getting you to that next level. I would strongly recommend still finding an external coach somewhere that can help hold you accountable, someone that you can go to see once a week, once every two weeks, once a month, uh, worst, worst case scenario. So if you have that someone else writing a program, you can send them videos for, for the technical side. And then once or twice a month, go train in a, in a, in a different environment where you're gonna be around people so, and use those as like your test sessions to really push yourself physically and mentally. So, approaching the lift after you fail. All lifters, including my lifters here, need to understand that you're gonna fail for basically one of two reasons. Either one, you're simply not strong enough to hold positions, or two, your technique is off so you're out of position. So it's either gonna be fueled by strength or fueled by technique. And I am willing to bet 90% of the time that you miss a lift, it always comes down to a technical breakdown. Very, very rarely will it come down to a strength breakdown. So what ends up happening is we have these, we have coaches that'll just push squats like crazy, which is great. And that just masks and hides the technical errors that are occurring. So always addressing those technical errors and, and building from those technical errors to improve and make progress on the platform is key. So when you miss a lift in training, you've got to think, why did that happen? What technical aspect caused that to occur? And then fix it for the next lift. And if you're in a comp and you miss, it's, you know, you've got to have one cue. You can't have 17 cues. You have one or two cues. Maybe one cue is a technical cue and one cue is an aggressive cue. And you sit there and say, okay, I missed that out front because I got on my toes early and I bent my elbow. So instead of getting on my toes early, I want to push my knees back, stay on my heels, and I want to feel that bar super tight with long arms and finish. So having that aspect of, I missed that lift because of a technical reason, and then logically trying to solve that is the best way, not aggressively changing, being, oh my God, I can't believe I missed that, I'm gonna get pissed, and try and go out and smash it. You've gotta have a logical perspective as to why you missed it in a comp. Have one cue, attack that, and that should be the cue that fixes everything and can put that bar overhead and where it needs to be so that you are more successful with your attempts. If you want to find a coach, specifically a weightlifting coach, you've got to sit there and, and analyze what's the coach's personality like? Is it somebody that you want to lift for? Is it someone that can bring energy to the table? Is it someone that has a brain that can program appropriately? Are their lifters successful most of the time when they're competing in big events? Do they peak well? And do their lifters respond well? Do, you, do, their lift, do the lifters associate well with the coach when you're, when you're you know, analyzing what they're doing. So finding that coach, you've got to have a like-minded coach, somebody that has similar goals as you. Do they, want to, do they want to train Olympians? Do they want to train world championship caliber athletes? Or do they just want to you know, have Instagram sales and, and internet sales? And, and those things are okay, as long as that coach has in his mind that he wants to get everybody or she wants to get everybody to that next level to be a world-class weightlifter. So I think the biggest thing with Picking coaches just comes back to, does the coach have a technical model? Does the coach have a programming model? Does the coach have an analytical brain? Does the coach communicate well with, the, with their current athletes? And does the coach make good sound decisions on the platform? And does that, that coach's athletes perform? Are they successful in competition? And do they have good respect for that individual? And if they do, then that's somebody that you might you know, see as coming to train with them at Corral Strength. Ha, 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 ha.